Hello, everybody, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we are finally going to talk about that Harrison Butker speech. Yes, the Harrison Butker, who is the kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are you talking about this man, this man's hateful, ignorant commencement speech on a Taylor Swift channel? Well, not only has this man spent time with one Miss Taylor Swift, he plays for the team that Taylor Swift roots for, and he also kind of name-checked Taylor in the absolute worst way possible. And as a Chiefs fan, as a Taylor Swift fan, I do feel that it is my duty to finally speak on this incredibly ignorant, just upsetting, shameful speech that Harrison gave over the weekend. But before I go too far in, I do just want to say at the start that, of course, everybody is entitled to free speech. We are all able to say what we want to say. We're all able to think what we want to think. There is no debating that. But I will say that we are also allowed to have feelings and opinions about what people say, and we are allowed to judge people and judge people's character based on what they say. Okay. If you missed what happened over the weekend, which I don't know how you could have because it has truly gone so incredibly viral. It is all over social media. It's all over the news. It's all anyone can talk about. The kicker for the Kansas City Chiefs, as I mentioned, Harrison Bucker, was giving a commencement speech at Benedictine College, which is a small Catholic school in Kansas. Uh, he gave a speech there over the weekend for all of the graduates. And so many of his comments, specifically his comments about women, went very viral for all the wrong reasons. Now, if you have been a Chiefs fan, a football fan, or even if you have sort of peripherally known about the Chiefs or Harrison before this point, you probably know that Harrison is a very proud, very devout Catholic. He has never been shy about sharing his beliefs, about sharing his faith, like a lot of other athletes have, right? There's so many athletes, not just in the NFL, but around the world, people in general celebrities who are not afraid to talk about their faith. Um, and that's totally fine. Because again, everybody is entitled to believe what they want to believe, to have those, those um, feelings, to think certain th thoughts based off of their faith. That's all totally fine. But his comments over the weekend were extremely ignorant, extremely hateful. He went after abortion rights, IVF, surrogacy, Pride Month. I mean, so many things that we aren't even going to get into on this in, in this video because they were just so incredibly political, which first of all, why are you giving a political speech essentially at a college graduation. I don't know that this is the time or place to be sharing your feelings and thoughts about the president while talking to a group of college students and trying to prepare them for the real world. It's supposed to be a speech about encouraging them and uplifting them and sending them on their way as adults into the real world. And you're here standing on this stage talking about how much you don't like Pride Month and how abortion or IVF is ruining your society. Like that's just, in my opinion, and again, my opinion, not the time or the place. But we're going to focus specifically in this video on his comments about women <laughs> because they were straight out of The Handmaid's Tale. It was as if I was watching a scene from The Handmaid's Tale when I was watching Harrison's comments about women. Here is specifically what he said, and then we'll get into how I feel about all of it. For the ladies present today, congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that, that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. He then went on to talk about his wife, who was not Catholic and became Catholic for him, and that her life truly didn't begin until she became a homemaker. Okay, I mean, 
<laughs> I don't even really know where to start. First of all, I'm not a mother. I'm not a wife. But I have a mother <laughs> who is a wife. I have friends who are mothers and wives. And I've heard from all these people who do have children and who are married that having kids, having a partner is wonderful. It's great. I know a lot of people who are stay-at-home moms who have dedicated their lives to taking care of their children. My own mother was a stay-at-home mom. It is one of the most difficult, challenging jobs anyone can have. And if you talk to any stay-at-home mom, they will tell you that. It is so hard to take, after, to take care after children day in and day out. It is so demanding. But it is not why women are put on this earth. It is not the sole purpose of women to get married and to have kids because there are so many incredible women out there who never get married, who never have children, and who are giving extremely valuable, important contributions to our society that have nothing to do with them as a wife or a mother. And to stand up there as a man and to speak to a group of college-educated women who have just graduated college and to tell them, congrats on your college degree, but really all that matters is that you become a wife and a mother. I mean, how upsetting. Now, I'm sure there are people out there in the crowd who agree with Harrison, who are most looking forward to being a wife and a mother, but we don't need to hear that from a man on stage. I mean, it was so baffling straight out of 1955. And I also just want to say too, if you have a problem with my thoughts on Harrison's quote, then I'm just going to tell you right now that this show is not for you. If you agree with what Harrison is saying here, or you th think it's okay to have these thoughts about women, then this show, and honestly, being a Taylor Swift fan isn't for you. Because this stands, this goes against everything, I believe. It goes against everything Taylor Swift believes. And it was just so baffling to hear him say that out loud to a group of, again, college educated women who are about to embark on the next stage of their life. Some again, who may go on to be mothers and wives and some who may go on to run successful companies or I don't know, do a, a, become a doctor or a teacher or a lawyer or whatever it is. It's just baffling. And it's even more baffling because Harrison's own mother is a medical physicist, okay? So this was uncovered post the speech going viral. It was, we, we found out that Harrison's mother, Elizabeth Bucker, has been a medical physicist at Emory University's Department of Radiation Oncology since 1988, okay? Physicist. She specializes in brachytherapy, I'm not even sure how to say that, and gamma knife medical physics care. I mean, your own mother, had to go through so much school, is incredibly smart, is making a real legitimate difference in people's lives based off of her mind and her brain, how much hard work she's put in. And Harrison himself has been has benefited from his own mother having a very successful career. I can guarantee you that Harrison's life was a lot more comfortable. He probably got a lot more of the things he wanted as a kid growing up, probably lived in a nice house because his mother is a physicist. And so for him to stand up on stage and say, all those career things are great, but really the only thing that matters is that you're a wife and a mother when his own mother is like, has one of the most difficult, most accomplished jobs you could ever have as a person is just, again, I keep saying this word, but it is so baffling. <laughs> it is so baffling. Um, yeah. And, and so, you know, my feeling obviously is that like women should never be made to feel like they have to become a wife or a mother. And you are not less of a woman. Uh, if you don't become a wife or a mother, you are deserving <laughs> of being on this earth and you are deserving of respect and love. And also you are allowed to feel completely fulfilled and happy without having children or without being a wife. Then Harrison went on to um, kind of name check Taylor Swift, as I said, which was just another one of many moments in this speech where I was like, what is this guy doing? So he says, as my teammate's girlfriend says, familiarity breeds contempt, which is a line in Taylor's song, Bejeweled. First of all, just first of all, 
don't quote Taylor Swift in your very hateful, ignorant speech full of things that I can guarantee you Taylor Swift does not believe in. Second of all, don't reduce her down to being the girlfriend of one of your teammates. She is one of the most successful women, just successful people in general, in the world, in the world, has been working since she was 16 years old, even younger than that, to build a career for herself, to be able to provide not just for herself, but for her family, it, to, to reduce her down to the person that she is dating is crazy. Now, I feel like he thought he was doing the right thing by not naming her directly because I think he probably felt like, oh, if I name her, then it's going to seem like I'm saying it for like clout or something. But it just came out so much worse. He should have just said, as Taylor Swift once said, blah, 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 blah. Or just don't say it at all. Just don't say it at all. And I would really love to know what Travis Kelsey is thinking right now. Because Travis Kelsey has always been someone who has even, he's even said this, like he loves a powerful, strong woman. He loves a woman who has ambition, who has drive, who goes after what she wants. And I have to imagine that he heard this speech and just thought to himself, what the hell? Just insane. So the NFL has come out since this speech has gone viral to basically say that they don't agree with Harrison's statements. This is what um, Jonathan Bean, the NFL senior vice president and chief diversity and inclusion officer said. Harrison Bucker gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organization. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Now he is right. Again, as I said in the beginning, Harrison is allowed to say what he wants in his own personal life. Everybody is allowed to say what they want in their own personal life, but it still doesn't take away from the fact that what he said was incredibly backwards, incredibly sexist, misogynistic, homophobic. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. And I just want to also say too, I've made it very clear on this show that I am a Taylor Swift fan. I'm a Chiefs fan, born and raised a Chiefs fan. Like I love the Chiefs. If you have become a Chiefs fan since Taylor Swift became a a Chiefs fan, if you've adopted the Chiefs as your team and you're thinking to yourself, like, can I still root for this team that has this kind of player on the field? I want to say to you that a majority of Kansas City fans do not agree with Harrison Bucker's statements. He does not stand for what we stand for. And the sad truth about the NFL and something that I've had to kind of work through and think about over the course of my time as a sports fan is... NFL teams, not just the Chiefs, but so many other teams, pretty much every single team, is full of players who say terrible things, who do terrible things, who think terrible things. I'm not naive enough to think that every single athlete on every single team that I root for thinks and feels the way that I feel about certain issues. It's just the unfortunate world that we live in. How many teams have have athletes who have abused their girlfriends or wives or who've been accused of doing terrible things or who have said terrible things or have, who have said terrible slurs. Like this happens all the time. And I'm not equating Harrison's comments to abuse. What I am saying is that it can be difficult as a fan to reckon with that in your own mind and to to be rooting for people who you just completely do not align with morally is challenging and it's a weird thing to have to navigate. But I will say something that gives me a little bit of hope, makes me feel a little bit better inside, is that basically the same day that this that this speech went viral, Patrick Mahomes gave a speech at the Time 100 Gala, which was a couple weeks ago, but it was just aired um, this past weekend in our week, giving a speech about the importance of women's sports, how incredible it is that women are now given this, have this amazing platform to show their ability and how the world is finally catching on to how incredible women's sports is. Um, And it was just this incredible juxtaposition of like Harrison's hateful, terrible comments about women. And then Patrick's really wonderful comments about supporting women, uplifting women, um, putting your money where your mouth is, supporting women's sports. So I would encourage you, if you are discouraged by the Harrison Butker comments, I would encourage you to go and find the Patrick Mahomes speech um, because it made me feel a lot better about being a Chiefs fan and supporting this team because I at least know that my quarterback values and supports women, which 
is important. So anyway, that is my thoughts, feelings about this Harrison Bucker situation. Again, I know it's a nuanced conversation. I know it's complicated. I know people have lots of feelings. This is how I feel. This is, these are my thoughts on it. Um, I am a little bit, uh, hesitant to say, leave your thoughts, feelings, concerns in, in the comments, but people are going to do it anyway. So leave your thoughts, feelings, concerns in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel as always, and we'll see you guys next time.